The Netsuite Return Authorizations feature enables companies to manage customer returns. Let's take a quick look at this feature and how it works. First, in order to use this feature, you would need to enable Return Authorizations, which is located under the Basic Features section of the Transactions tab in Enable Features. A return authorization form, also called a return materials authorization form, or RMA form, is a transaction that does not post to the general ledger and contains the details of an expected customer return. These details include things like the customer making the return, the exact items being returned, and the quantities and prices of those items. Before using return authorizations, you need to set your return preferences. These can be set in the Returns section of the Order Management tab in Accounting Preferences, Set Up Accounting Preferences, Accounting Preferences. Some of the preferences you can set up here include setting your default return authorization status, pending approval or pending receipt, whether or not the refund will be sent out before the return has been completed, and whether or not you will be restocking returned items. If you will not or cannot restock returned items, then returned items will need to be written off as a loss. The Write-Off Account for Returns drop-down field allows you to select the default write-off account for these items. There are two types of returns, or two ways to handle a return, by issuing a credit or a cash refund. Whether or not a return will result in a credit to the customer or a cash refund is dependent on the type of RMA form you use. To give your customers a credit when they make the return, you will need to use the Standard Return Authorization Credit Form. Using this form to process the return will result in a credit memo. Your customers can use their credit memos to either decrease the amount they owe you or they can put the credit memo toward their future invoices. If you use the Advanced Receiving feature, all your returns will initially be processed as credit memos rather than as refunds. You'll still be able to create a refund, however, from the credit memo. For a return to result in a refund, you'll need to use the Standard Return Authorization Cash Form. And though credit memos can later be processed as a cash refund, Cash refunds cannot be turned into credit memos. How would you create a return authorization? You have a couple options. RMA forms can be created either from an existing transaction record or from scratch. You can create an RMA form from existing sales orders, cash sales, or invoices. On any one of those transactions where the transaction has already received payment, you'll see an Authorize Return button. Selecting this button will take you to a return authorization form with the status of To Be Generated. At the top of the form, you'll need to choose the correct form for either a cash or credit refund, depending on the type of return you need. You'll notice that all the relevant details from the original transaction have auto-populated the RMA form. Under the Item sub-tab, you'll see all the items that were on the original transaction. If all of these items are being returned, you can just save the record as it is. If, however, the customer is returning only some of the items on this transaction, you can remove any irrelevant items from this list. Your other option, of course, is to create the RMA form from scratch. A standalone RMA form like this is not going to be connected to any sales transaction. You'll need to navigate to Transactions, Customers, Issue Return Authorizations. On this transaction, you'll need to fill out the necessary information, including the customer that this refund will be going to. Then, in the Item sub-tab, you'll add any items that are being returned along with relevant quantity, rate, or amount information. The Netsu Return Authorizations feature allows you to easily process customer returns. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting the like button. And to learn more about how SweetRep can help you with all of your NetSuite needs, visit us at sweetrep.com.